Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. We kicked off this brand new series earlier this week. If you've missed any of the episodes so far and you'd like to go back, check those out before coming into today's episode. Click up here, I'll put a card up for you. You can check those out and then come back to this one. But before we get into this episode today, what I'm going to do, because we are into the third episode this week and we can activate our buttons that we've got access to we've got the legend maker the switch up and the random switch up so considering how yesterday's episode went we were so close to getting some results with the team but i do feel that we are at a little bit of a deficit with our only one restricted pokemon when we could have two so what i'm gonna do before we kick off today is activate our legend maker button so we're gonna activate that right now we're gonna have to do a random selection to take one of our pokemon out of our party excluding the sogaleo so we're gonna just do that throw the pokemon into the roulette wheel select a random pokemon to come out and then we will do a selection for a restricted pokemon so we'll be right back we'll hit that legend maker button right now and we'll see who we're going to bring into the party for today I am so sad that we've lost Chandelier, but at the same time, we can now welcome in the Palkia. This legend maker button is a good button. I'm a little bit sad that we've lost Chandelier, but also at the same time, we do get access to another restricted Pokemon. And what better one to get access to than something that complements Sogaleo so well. So... Thank you so much to Will. You can see on your screen right now that uh, Will did suggest the Palkia there, even though we have all the restricted selections in. Anytime there is one selected that has been nominated, I always give you guys a shout out for that. Nominations are going to be starting for next week's Roulette Road to Rank series, so make sure you go over to our comment section, check out the post there, and nominate your Pokemon for next week's episode because I did put a poll up on the YouTube channel asking you guys. I was a bit unsure about whether we do this for two week cycles or one week cycles and it came back unanimous one week cycles so that's what we're going to do we're going to generate a new roulette team every week it means that we can use our buttons within one week which makes them a bit easier to work with so kicking off into the day let's get the team up and let's see what we're going to do so we've got the park here in we've taken the chandelier out unfortunately as always the team is down in the description below there is a roll paste poke paste if, for whatever reason, you want to have a little bit of fun, roulette style, and try it out yourself, you're more than welcome to. If you do, obviously let me know. Here is the team, all revamped and remodeled, so we can see we've got the Mantine still. We've changed up the Mantine set as well. We've given it Scald there. We've taken off Help in Hand. We've kept Icy Wind as a little bit of extra speed control there. Kept Tailwind and that Wide Guard that's been so good. Superior is exactly the same. Sogaleo is exactly the same. The Palkia, we've got Trick Room on that because because we had the trick room on the chandelier we've given it earth power spatial ren that kind of gives us the coverage we need i do like hydro pump but i don't want to be in a situation where we've got the sun up and we cannot use that water type attack so i feel earth power kind of does a lot in this format will help us out a lot there spatial ren trick room protect and then the shuckle is exactly the same and the hound doom is exactly the same and i had a message from mojo the kids a big shout out to you i haven't had a chance to respond yet why not put sucker punch on hound doom well that is something we can look at for the rest of the week i didn't really consider it because i just wanted more of a special based set but the obvious priority would be very nice on there obviously you've gone off a uh, the physical side attacking side of things so it's not going to be the strongest and dark pulse obviously is a little bit stronger when you're doing the calc stuff like that and especially the things you want to be hitting but sucker punch could definitely be a viable option especially over something like destiny bond which we haven't actually been able to use yet so maybe getting into today's episode we'll be able to activate that we've got the music on everything set guys if you enjoy the content please remember to drop a like on the video do subscribe for the channel for more pokemon content and leave your comments down in the comment section below because i do love hearing from you i'm going to quickly select necrozma vision one we got a first opponent is it jan or ian it's jan so let's hop over into team preview 
Okay, so Jan, our first opponent. Oh, it's one of those teams. Uh, is playing Persimian and Groudon, Incineroar, Mewtwo, Tapu Lele, and Driplim. Mmm, Driplim. The one Pokemon we love to see because we can assume that it's going to have gravity, hypnosis that's going to play off. A uh, Tepalele with gravity, it's going to be scarfed, and then both Driplim and Mewtwo are going to have access to that hypnosis. So, what can we do? What can we do actually? Because we've not got anything with a Lumberry. Um, Handoom could be very good here if we can avoid the sleep. We've got to watch out for Mewtwo, obviously, with Aurora Sphere. And we've also got to worry about the Tapu Lele uh, with Moonblast. But if Tapu Lele goes for the Gravity, then we don't need to worry about that too much. Um, I'm going to bring Palkia. It's our newest member, so I'm going to bring Palkia here. Um, if we can get a Trick Room up, things could be alright. I don't know. Uh, Mantine could be decent. Sogaleo. Sogaleo is definitely good in this match um and then so what do we choose for our last one um hmm shuckle shuckle do we go shuckle or do we go mantine mantine's been so good uh because the tailwind could be good if we get it off think i'll go with that we'll lock in there good luck jan and <laughs> hopefully we can pull out a win i feel a little bit better about things now we've got two restricted pokemon to play around with rather than just the one it does feel a little bit better but going up against these sort of teams this is where we need to get to you know with the roulette we need to kind of get the memes at full force with these but you never know we've got two buttons bonus buttons to use before the end of the week so maybe we activate both tomorrow and play some play some meme stuff instead. Right, we're going to see that Drift Bloom, we're going to see the Tapu Lele come out. As I say, we can guarantee that you're probably going to see uh, um, Gravity Hypnosis for sure. Um, I'm going to go Mega Evolve and I'm going to go Dark Pulse into the Drift Bloom and I'm going to try in Trick Room with Palkia. If I can get a Trick Room up, it would be very nice for us, I think, because the team's probably more Tailwind based. you got to imagine with something like the Drift Limb, I don't recall there being any Trick Room set around my opponent's team, at least to support the Groudon, which we kind of normally think it would be. At least we're getting to see Mega Houndoom as well. This is really cool. This is the one bonus about this whole series. We're going to see a bunch of Pokemon that we, we're never used to seeing, which is really fun. Oh, <laughs> we're not even going to see the Gravity, just a Moonblast. Okay, well, Palkia will take that just out of berry range, which is a bit frustrating. Uh, but Palkia being the beast that it is, does take the Shadow Ball. Palkia's so good. Palkia's so good. I'm going to get a Dog Pulse off into the Lele, which is nice as well. We can get the Trick Room up, which means both Pokemon that we've got access to now are going to be... Slower than anything else on the field. Right, so I'm not really too worried about the Drifling now. We know the Lele is scarfed, so I'm going to double into that slot with an Earth Power and a Dark Pulse, which should be enough to take down this Lele. Um, I don't know why my opponent, if they've got access to the Gravity Hypnosis, didn't go for it. It can really... We've seen before when we've been playing uh, uh, Battle Series how devastating it is if you don't have an answer to it. And I think being able to... Just set that up now really kind of really limits our options going forward but i'm gonna take it and uh i'm gonna just i'm not really worried about the the drift limb at this point it's not really putting on too much offensive pressure on either of our side of the field the tapu lele if it wants to stay in that's fine we'll probably pick up the knockout if it wants to switch out then whatever comes in will take a bunch of damage so we're gonna see groudon actually now hit the field that overheat that'd be so tempting there hmm It'll be interesting to see the speed tier of the Groudon, but the Drift Blame switching out, it has lost its um, its special defensive booster and its speed boost as well. Desolate Land getting set up onto the field now. We're going to see the Earth part into that Lele. Not doing a great amount of damage, but Dark Pulse boosted by the sun. Going to be more than enough to pick up the knockout on that Lele there, so... Sitting not too bad. Solar Power going to take a little bit of damage. Get rid of that Lele, of course. Um, the Groudon now threatening our Houndoom. So we've got to watch out there a little bit. Um, and whether we try and adjust our, our board position a little bit more going into this next turn. 
because uh, the drift limbs probably. Hmm. Uh, drift limbs. I could be slower than our park here without the boost. I don't know. Uh, Mantine's obviously a good Pokemon to bring in for Hound Doom. And I think what we'll do is we'll just protect Palkia. We don't want to take any damage. And if we get Mantine onto the field, then we can wide guard Earth Power that Groudon. We've already seen the damage output from the the Drift Blim, so I'm not really too worried about that right now. Anyway, it's not really going to be threatening any any knockouts. There's a Destiny Bond. Yeah. Expecting probably us to, to hit into that slot. Uh, there's a Precipice Blades, as we expected. So playing around it there. Which is good, doesn't affect the Mantine, um, and we can go for a wide guard. We'll just see how many turns of trick room we got left. We've got two turns left, so that's fine. And I'm gonna go for that Earth Power into the Groudon. They know we got Earth Power, so they could protect here. They definitely could. I don't want a spatial rend into the Drift Blim if we crit that um, slot and pick up a knockout, then we would lose Palkia. Especially if we're slower than the Drift Blim and we attack before it. So the Destiny Bond's still active right now until Drift Blim attacks this next turn. So guard on protecting as we expected. Um, there's a wide guard. So we'll reveal that. That's fine. Uh, Shadow Ball. Yeah, gonna be in two park yet. Doing a bit more damage than I expected it to, but. Still fine. Um, what we'll do now is we won't wide guard, we'll tailwind, and because it's the last turn of Trick Room, I'm just gonna protect Park here. So then the next turn we're in a, a, such a good position. And we can like Icy Wind and Earth Power or just double into the Drift Blim, get rid of that. Because I don't, unless the Drift Blim goes for a tailwind now, it has got access to it. Um, and if my opponent's smart, then they probably wanna try and get their own Trick Room set up. We're gonna see the Mewtwo come in. Hit the field now. Um, it wouldn't be so surprising if we do see the Drift Blim go for a tailwind now, knowing that the, the Trick Room is going to end. Um, but there's Mantine setting it up, setting it up. So, and just another Shadow Ball into that slot. That's fine. That is fine, my friends. And the Psychic Terrain finally disappearing from the field. Uh, the Mewtwo we got to be a little bit worried about, obviously. Uh, I'm going to Icy Wind just in case the Groudon comes back in. And I'm going to Spatial Ren the Drift Blim because we don't want to allow it to get a Tailwind setup of its own. Uh, that's the one thing that could put us at a little bit of a disadvantage from a, a point where we are at a good uh, in a good place now. Like, I'm not really too worried about what my opponent... Like, we've got to worry about the Mewtwo, obviously, we've got to deal with that. But we do have Sogaleo in the back, so coming in, um, we got, like, perfect protection against uh, the ground on it, especially with Precipice Blades. Um, but we have to still worry about that. But, um, the Fire Punch, if I can even get my words out. So there's a special round we do make contact. It's a little bit less accurate than... It, <laughs> some other dragon type attacks, so sometimes it can miss. Do pick up the knockout there, and we get that nice icy wind onto the Groudon. Now it's a guessing game. Where's, where's, where these Pokemon gonna hit? Um, um, I don't know what. Like me too. It's gonna be me too. Why for sure? I'm gonna just icy wind again. Um. Oh, if we can get Houndoom in, we can do some serious damage. Yeah, we've got Houndoom in the back. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, I'm really more concerned about the Groudon because the Groudon threatens more knockouts on anything else, and it's kind of hindering our ability to um, to allow Mantine to get any attacks off other than Icy Wind. So <clears throat> I'm going to just try and chip this Groudon down a bit, but it does protect. It's kind of an obvious protect there. Maybe, yeah, the Mewtwo is going to take down the, the Palkia. But an Icy Wind onto this Mewtwo is going to help out tons. So that's that's fine. Let me get the Houndoom in. Um, the thing is with the Houndoom is it, it's not really too threatened by, by Fire Punch. So it does give us a little bit of room around dealing with... Um, dealing with Groudon, at least. Especially with the Dark Pulse, we can... In the sun, 
do some good stuff to grout on. So, um, do we? Ice, uh, we have to attack. We have. I think we have to wide guard. We have to wide guard. How many turns of Tailwind have we got left? One. Uh, I know the Mewtwo is going to protect here. But I've got to attack into it because it's got Aurora Sphere. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that it does. Um, <clears throat> I would just wonder what the Groudon does. If it's got Stomping Tantrum, it could be pretty bad. This is where we could have went for the Groudon, but you get punished if you... Yeah, it's power. No! Okay. Ham Doom. Ah, oh, we didn't think about that. We're, lo we're losing. We're losing. It's not so good right now. Um... I don't know if we're going to get Z Splash up either. I don't think we, we're going to be able to. Um, can we Icy Wind again? I just don't think we're going to get Z Splash up. I'm, like, I just feel like the Groudon... It has to earth power. It has to earth power, right? Because it could go eruption. Um, I'm just going to wide guard again. And I'm going to go for Z splash. Because I feel like it does put us into a position where we might take an earth power. But I think we can take at least one earth power. Just the Groudon's probably got eruption. These Sogal is the fastest thing that we've got. On the field now what we can try and do is chip this ground on down a little bit more if mantine can stick around z splash is it going to save the day though shadow ball shadow ball earth power is not going to be not going to do the job i don't think oh that's it that's it we lose we lose the double up Ugh. okay unless mantine can do some work i just don't see it happening now this is disappointing. Um, oh, there's no, there's no way, there's no way we can do this. Not now. Ah, oh, the Groudon, Earth Power. This is why we. Mm, damn! Look at the damage there. So ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad about this result. We had such a good start. Hound Doom. The Earth Power catching... Like, we should have thought about the Earth Power and the Groudon. That's the thing. Um, if we just got damage into the Groudon with Houndoom... And we said that earlier on, you know. That's the one thing that we need to concentrate down on. If we just Dark Pulse into it or uh, Overheat, sacrifice the Mewtwo. It's going to protect anyway. Like, we were kind of expecting it to, but we didn't want to get punished in case of Aurora Sphere. Um... But the Groudon protected the turn before, so we're pretty safe attacking into it this turn. And then it then it covers that move. Then we get enough damage onto the Groudon to actually bring Sogaleo in at the end and probably pick up a knockout with Sensio Strike or even Superpower even. Man. I don't think my rating has ever been so low. Ever. Okay. We're going to win this next one, whatever happens. We're going to win this next one. We've got Palkia in the team. We can't lose. Right. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Ah, oh, there we go. Escavalier. 19. 15, 20 <laughs> raid players. So let's hope in the team. We're going to be above 1,500 by the end of the week. I promise you that. So we're going up against Xerneas, Incineroar, Landorus, Tepacoco, Ferrothorn, and Rayquaza. All right. Um, hmm. Well, Sogaleo is, like, pretty decent here. Um, we'll see it deals with the Xerneas, it can deal with the Incineroar, has to worry a little bit about the, the Landorus for sure um, we could go a Superior I guess, it's not really doing too much really in this match anyway uh, Houndoom it's good for the Ferrothorn but that's about it uh, Shuckle, hmm not really. It's like good cannon fodder, I guess. Before we mega evolve. 
I think it's going to be about... Like, Palkia has a bit of a hard time. Mantine. Sogaleo as a lead. Try and go down the Tailwind route. I mean, Palkia is good in Tailwind. We just got to check the... The Xerneas, which is a little bit of an issue. Um, and then do we go Superior or... Like, Superior could be good. Because we do have the Sash in it. But then, I think... I'm going to prefer Houndoom over everything else. Just for the fact that I feel like the Ferrothorn is probably going to be a massive issue. The thing is, it's going to be difficult to... Um, to kind of deal with the fake out Geomancy. We're not going to see that. Um... Okay, so we're gonna see Tapu Koko come out. Where's Koko attack into though? Like if it doesn't Z into the Mantine, then Mantine takes the attack and we get a Tailwind up, which puts us in a great position. There's no fake out, so I'm gonna Z splash with Sogaleo. Uh, Tapu Koko Z move and Moonblast from Xerneas, we should take that combination. Um, Xerneas is actually just going to protect. So let's see what this Coco does. Volt switch. Oh, it's into Sogaleo. Okay. I'd imagine Incineroar comes onto the field now. That's That would be my best guess. I think Incineroar. For the fake out Geomancy. Oh, it's Rayquaza. Huh. That's interesting. So we're going to get a free Tailwind. Sea Splash. Okay, we're at this stage now in this game that we've been in so many times this week where it feels like everything's going right. So we need to just, and I think this is a good thing, like even if you're playing like seriously, this is where you need to really start thinking about we're, we're in a great position now. My opponent's definitely on the back foot. How do we keep the pressure up here? How do we, how do we keep things, the momentum going? Now the Xerneas, if we look at the board position, Xerneas is in a terrible position. Um, it's going to want to switch out, it's just protected. The Rayquaza on the other hand has just come in, so Icy Winding here isn't a bad idea. And then just Sunsteel Strike into the Ray. The Ray is the one thing I think more likely to not protect than the Xerneas. I don't think my opponent tries to get the Geomancy off. Now, could be wrong, they could definitely call our bluff and say, well, from the board position we're in a terrible position. They're probably not going to attack into this to take advantage of this board position. No, and I'm going to switch out. But I'm not going to switch out. I'm going to call their bluff. And I'm going to Geomancy. If I get the Geomancy off, I'm in a really good position. So that's there's the mind games all the time. But the safest player, most reliable players, knowing that that Xerneas is probably going to switch out for later on. Tapu Koko coming back in, which is fine. Now, Ray will probably... Yeah, Mega Evolve, which is fine because, I mean, the one thing, we'll probably take it, if it is Sash, take it down to its Sash. Mantine will still outspeed it, so as long as that Icy Wind hits, we should be getting rid of the Rayquaza. I could go for an Extreme Speed here, but I mean, if it does, I don't really mind. Um, it's not likely going to. Um, but the Mantine, full health. I've redone the calcs. We should take a Dragon Ascent from full health from a Rayquaza, Jolly Rayquaza. Ah, oh, huh, it's not even Sashed. Just pick up a clean knockout. I'm surprised we're not seeing Incineroar come in. My opponent mustn't have brought the Incineroar. Uh, we do get the Icy Wind off into the Coco. Uh, break a potential Sash there, I guess. If it was on the Ray, it's, it's likely to be there. Um, and then the next turn, Luzonius could come back in now. It's unlikely. It's unlikely to bring Luzonius in. Um, but they do... Uh, and this is where we have to kind of be a little bit careful. Like, I'm going to attack into the Coco. Um, and I'm just going to Icy Wind again. And I'm going to Sunsteel Strike. Because I do feel like the Xerneas will protect. I feel like the Tap Coco could be the one thing that causes a lot more damage than we, we necessarily want to be taking. Um, and the Xerneas, we can kind of keep in check as well by just Icy Winding it. And just keeping that speed... Uh, in check, there's the protect from the Xerneas so now we're just we're getting the 50-50 calls right but I mean there's logic behind them um, so we'll be able to smash the Tapu Koko 
I'm so surprised at this splash. Splash Z Sogaleo. Putting in so much work. Um, I know my opponent down to their last two Pokemon. Now, I'm going to be so surprised if we see the Incineroar as the last Pokemon here because I feel like it should have come in a lot earlier in this game if my opponent, yeah, has brought it, which is just crazy. It is a little bit crazy. Now, the one thing that we need to be a little bit careful about is um, my opponent can just fake out Sogaleo and uh, a Tailwind is about to run out. Um, I think we have the Icy Wind and I, I guess we Sunsteel Strike the Xerneas. We're going to get faked out from the Sogaleo, uh, from the Incineroar regardless and the Geomancy is going to be set up 100%. Not really too much we can do about it. And the thing is with not having protect on Sogaleo <coughs> is the following turn I think my opponent can make the play where they they want to protect the, the Xerneas. And uh, they'll use the Incineroar to uh, flare blitz at Sogaleo. Um But I think we're fine anyway because one thing my opponent probably has to do is Moonblast either one of these targets to take it down. So it means we get a Tailwind up if they attack into Sogaleo um, and we'll superpower the Incineroar. And if they they attack the Mantine then it means Sogaleo is in a, a, an amazing position going into that next turn where it can still pick up the knockout onto Xerneas. So that's why the only thing that really threatens us right now, the Incineroar does put on a lot of pressure, of course. The, the Xerneas is putting on a lot of pressure, but at least we know Sogaleo can take at least one Moonblast. Um, and we get the Tailwind up with Mantine. And we should be. We should be alright. We should be alright. This is like Mantine putting so much work today. I love Mantine. It's, a, it's been such a good support Pokemon. And like every match, even though we've not had the best results, it's been doing so much work. So there's the Moonblast. This is what I'm... Plus two. You take it, man. Mantine takes it. <laughs> Mantine. This is why it's so good. Like, MVP. Oh, Mantine. Such a cool Pokemon. There's the Tailwind. And then, yeah, we just lock this. Because we've got the Icy Wind onto the Xerneas now. It's only plus one way, plus two. Simples, isn't it? Simple math. Simple math. Well, Icy Wind, and then we'll go for that Sensor Strike. We're plus two, and I mean, splat Z Splash has just absolutely destroyed that game there for us. So, amazing game for us to end on today, and we do win it, and we do end on a victory. So, we're sitting on two wins and three losses. So, we can tie things up tomorrow, get ourselves ahead, and then get stay positive by the end of the week that's the goal so that's what we're going to do um i just want to say thank you so much for tuning in guys uh, remember that the poll up for next week's roulette pokemon nominations is up now go over to the community section of the youtube page there will be a post there you can go and nominate the pokemon that you'd like to throw into the wheel for next week's team and uh, we'll be doing that obviously on Monday with a brand new team to take forward. Um, we've activated a button today, we've got two buttons left. We've got the switch up and the random switch up. So how the switch up works is we can switch up any Pokemon in our party and spin the wheel again from your nominations from last week and select a brand new Pokemon to bring into the team. And then the random switch up is we have to select a random Pokemon from our squad and then we have to uh, replace it with, with something else. Uh, random from the wheel so we've got those two options there to play around with we might activate them tomorrow we might activate them Friday but we'll see what happens I hope you're enjoying this series though it is a lot of fun doing it it's uh, it's been really great so far so thank you so much for tuning in thank you for all the support and uh, keep your comments coming guys I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on these this new series um, and we'll end it there so have a great day whatever you're up to I will see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye yeah.